Hello and welcome to another um, Mechabricks example of using animation nodes to uh, animate um, Lego bricks in 3D space. So today I thought I would have a go at animating a steering rack and fairly primitive uh, drive chain uh, train sorry, um, through uh, a diff. Um, so here we go. So there's the rack. Um, just turn animation on. So I've done all the animation nodes behind the scenes. This is purely just to give you an example of what you can do. Uh, it's not a tutorial about how to do it. So this is simulating the um, steering rack going backwards and forwards. And then um, what we have driving the rack is the steering cog. So you can see there the cog is rotating along the rack. That's been driven by the uh, ray cog at the other end. Now because steering is much higher in a vehicle than in the steering rack, which tends to be quite low in line with the wheels, you go through a series of cogs uh, to raise it. And that's what this one does, uh, and then this one, and then this one. Um, a little gotcha, something I learned the hard way, is that um, to maintain the direction, you need an even number of cogs. So um, I did at one point have my steering going the opposite way to how you turn the wheel. So we can see here we've got this even number of cogs to make sure that the is uh, the directions maintained so from here we've got two gears on this axle and that's a um, got a curved gear which allows us to go at 90 degrees so um, that's what that looks like so see that's driving here on 90 degrees and then we do the same again to get back um, straight but obviously what we've done now is we've gone across so now this if your steering wheel was in the middle of the vehicle then you wouldn't need to do that but it's not so um, the what I call transverse system and then steering wheel is too low um, so we've just got a coupler here leading up to the steering wheel. So there you can see the steering wheel going from the left, the rack goes to the left, the steering wheel goes to the right, rack goes to the right. Okay. So if we follow this uh, example through what happens once the rack is moving left and right, what we have is the uh, left wheel is already turning that's animated for the drive um, train. Now that's a good example of what you can do in Mechabricks. As you can see that piece there is rotating um, quite nicely backwards and forwards on the z-axis. It's also going round on its own x-axis. Okay, so you can, any object, you can rotate x, y, z and move the location as well. Uh, but that's a good example of a double rotation. And then to finish that off, what we need is the um, steering rod or steering arm between the two. Now, this is not perfect animation, but it, uh, it's quite tricky to do. Um, and what you can see is as that arm is pushed to drive the um, rotation of the uh, wheel bearing, it actually rotates on this uh, pin. It's not perfect, but it's good enough. So it's quite a complex movement in that it's going backwards and forwards, but it's also rotating on this point and that point to drive the wheel. And then similarly on this side, if we turn on the wheel and the rod, you can see. 
pushing the wheel the other way. So it's one pushes, one pulls, one pulls, one pushes. That's why they stay um, in alignment. Okay, so that's the whole of the steering mechanism. So what we'll do is we'll turn steering mechanism off. If you're interested, that whole uh, all that animation is done using uh, the frame uh, count times by um, uh, the sine sine value, and it's the sine wave, the up down of the sine wave that's translated into the motion for both the left right movements um, and also for the uh, left right rotations. So it's, it's a nice mathematical feature using a sine uh, wave to do that. Okay, so let's have a look at the drive chain. Okay, so what we've got is the drive shaft. So normally here you would obviously have your engine on here, uh, engine and gearbox, control the ratio of the drive shaft, but for this demonstration we're only interested in demonstrating there is power going through the wrist rotating uh, drive shaft. Then we've got the differential. Okay, so we've got the whole differential being rotated off the drive gear. Then you've got the two internal gears here, which allow a counterclockwise rotation of the um, drive axles independently. Then, of course, you've got your third gear as well, which is quite a complex animation because um, that drive gear is actually not rotating around its own axis. It's rotating around the axis of the differential. Quite complicated. Um, and then from the uh, differential, we've got upper legs left axle which is running through a cuff coupler the lower left axle similarly on the right side now this might look a bit odd why have I used couplers um, purely because I had a problem I did the rack first and uh, the rack when I originally designed it um, unfortunately lined up with the wheel, right wheel on, um, and it meant that the rack and the differential hit each other in 3D space. So what I had to do is move the differential back and put these couplers in. So in an ideal world, if I was do, doing this from scratch, um, this would be a straight axle, and that would get rid of the problem that you see over here, which is that ha as the uh, wheel bearing rotates backwards and forwards, that doesn't move with it. Um, Kind of stopped animating at that point. If it was a straight axle, it wouldn't be a problem because the uh, you wouldn't need to do that. You would just um, put a pivot in. Um, but yeah, there's one compromise. I wasn't going to undo everything just for that. So you can see here how the drive chain goes through the diff, and it's uh, driving the uh, the wheel. Put the other wheel on as well. And then if we put the steering rods back in. And the box back. You've got the final model. So it takes a while to do because you have to model all of these individual pieces separately. But I think you agree that, uh, hopefully, you agree that the result is pretty good. I'm in the middle of. Um, building the Lamborghini Scion in Mechabricks and what I will do is I will isolate the mechanical elements of the steering, maybe the engine, but it's got a very complicated gearbox so maybe not, um, and hopefully allow you to effectively go under the skin of the Lamborghini and show uh, the actual steering rack that's used um, in that system um, in motion. It's not that dissimilar to this they do have a straight axle. Right, I hope you found that useful. Um, if you want to know um, how to uh, 
do any of that, then uh, message me and I might do some tutorials on it. Okay, hope you've enjoyed it. Cheers. Bye.